think for me, writing is um, simply addressing what it is to be alive. Will you ever please shut up? More than one face here needs to blow and rain. Hold that coal and old and cold and old idea. And let it slowly fade. It's become a, a more intense, a deeper experience the older I get because the questions get bigger. He's not a singer of songs. He lives the songs that he sings. And a lot of them are autobiographical or they're about him. Um, so you get inside somebody and um, the natural process is in order to play those songs properly, you have to get inside yourself and find stuff so that he gets to know you. So I'd say we're very, very good friends um, as a result. I think he's obsessed, you know, with his own genius. And in most people, you would say that was ridiculous and unbecoming. You know, in his case, I'd say it's his only saving grace is that somewhere down there, he does know he's a genius. Being in Ireland has forced me to, to try harder certain things, you know. If you're in London and you don't like the look of the electrician or whatever he is, you know, you go find another. Here, that might be the only guy that does that job that you need doing. You don't like the look of him. Tough. You've got to go up when you talk to them. Now, they won't roll over and let you tickle the belly just because you've walked up to them and started talking and you're being friendly. Colin, you see that shadow there? That shadow with, you know. Yeah. Let's try and do something more with that shadow so I can... I think... He's a scouser, but he always hated that kind of scout self-destructive thing. I know so many musicians from there who almost make it, if you like, and at the last minute, you know, kind of shoot themselves in the head. He hates all that. Now we'll just do it from the back. Colin, come around here. I think one of the reasons he feels at home in Ireland is, is there is that, you know, sentimentality um, and that mournful optimism or mournful fatalism uh, that you do get in Liverpool and you do get in Ireland and it's very, very much part of his nature. It's the kind of madness in Ireland that I understand. So I, I sort of, we operate at the same vibration that kind of certainly wasn't in London, which has become a very angry and depressed city. Liverpool's got spirit, but I can't help feeling it's pointing in the wrong direction just at the moment. It brought me out of myself a bit. Um, I'd say you know, the honeymoon period has only just kind of worn off. I still walk around every couple of weeks going, Jesus, I live here. You can travel Go the whole world over And still be where you are And still be where you are I traveled the world I went the whole world over And still was where I was And still was where I was Not a fighter, not a lover Not even a forgiver Tonight we cross the river
to leave you as you are. There's a time and a place for every song. Some songs have taken me like 11 years, but I'm not like at it every day. It's just, they don't open up for you. It's a bit like, uh, you know, the Coco de Mer or pollinates once a, a lifetime or something, every 50 or 100 years or something like that. Imagine a plant that only does that once a century. Yeah. You know, uh, Wonderful Life now is a five minute song. Sweetest Smile Before It was written in five minutes. But then my life gave me all the words at the time. My father was a songwriter. Um, he wrote First Time Ever I Saw Your Face, among other songs. That's the, the big, well-known song. His other songs that he cared about way more were kind of overlooked, and that song title kind of becomes your middle name. So in Colin's case, I think he got to the point where he really resented the Colin Wonderful Life Verncom, and he wanted people to listen to some of the other stuff and the breadth and the darkness. feel like so much the, the end of something is the beginning of something else. I actually feel like I'm just getting into my stride properly as a writer, you know? And maybe as a man at the same time. And some lessons take a lot longer to learn. You know when you get into that place. It, it scares me too, because the thing about Blind spots can be terribly useful. I spent far too long in my life being overly analytical. He is probably the most gifted and most deeply talented creative person I've ever met face to face. I want to break my mold. I want to up the ante, expand, grow. You know, if you, if you ever think you've left school, you're dead already, you know? Collins, at the height of his powers. Um, I think um, the last three records are the best thing he's ever, things he's ever done, and he's finding his shtick. Um, and what is his shtick? You can hear way, way back into Wonderful Life. It's the bittersweet melancholy. There's a darkness. Um, a lot of people, I would imagine, if you quoted that song to them, would think that it's a happy song. It's actually a very, very dark song. There's a darkness and a twist to what Colin does, which doesn't mean that he's a miserable git, because there's some beautiful songs. I'm going to say with this record, I mean, it's, um, it's a bit perplexing, because it, the further away I get from the point where I finished it, the more it's looking like I kind of wrote my own future. I wouldn't recommend that. Like a signpost and someday 